Hello, I'm Eileen Hernandez. Welcome to Daily Hope. I'm delighted you joined us, but before anything, I want to encourage you to click the like button, share, and subscribe to our channel. Well, this has been quite the year of transition at Victory. We've had two pastors and an admin retire, new staff coming on board, and the search has begun for a new associate pastor as well as a new custodian. Maybe you are going through a period of transition right now. Maybe you sense that God is moving you out of an area or a season in your life into another. So what do we do while we're waiting, transitioning? What is your attitude like while you're waiting for a change to happen? I'm going to share with you three practical tips with you in just a moment. But first, let's take a look at what the disciples did while they entered the waiting period. In Luke 24, we read about the ascension of Jesus. In verse 40, Jesus makes a promise. He says, I am going to send you what my Father has promised, but stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. When he had led them out to the vicinity of Bethany, he lifted up his hands and blessed them. While he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up into heaven. Then they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and they stayed continually at the temple praising God. Tip number one, get yourself in the position of praise and worship. Even though Jesus was gone, they didn't sit around moping. Noticed how they worshipped with great joy. Praise and worship not only honors God, but encourages others to put their hope in Him as well. In waiting times, it's not always the big things that we're asked to do. Often, it's following simple instructions with the right attitude. Remember in 2 Kings 5, where Naaman the leper was told to dip seven times in the Jordan River to be healed? Something simple, yes, yet he got so mad. Change is coming, and we need to praise God in the meantime. Tip number two, keep kingdom business a priority. Do what you can with what you have where you are. God wants us to know that waiting is far from a passive activity, which we do nothing, and actually, in Acts 1, verse 12 to 26, we read about the disciples who realized that they had a spot to fill. Matthias was chosen to replace Judas. They made sure some qualifications were met. They kept kingdom business a priority during the waiting. One of the most common pieces of advice you'll find in self-help books is about the need to prioritize. But there's a divine priority that blows them all out of the water. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. The minute things of life aren't going to matter in eternity. People matter. Tip number three. Wait with an attitude of expectancy. When you're waiting expectantly, you know this could be the day you get the break you need. This could be the day the problem turns around. There's an anticipation in your spirit. You're on the lookout. We see in King David's life, all kinds of bad things were happening to him. Violent enemies were chasing him. People lying about him, falsely accusing him. Yet right in the midst of it, he said, I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. In the natural, it doesn't look good. But when you're waiting with expectancy, you're not moved by what you see. You're moved by what you know. David not only prayed, he not only believed, he took it one step further. He expected. I encourage you to study and learn from the lives of other Bible characters who hoped and waited and trusted in times of transition like Noah, Abraham, Moses, Joseph, Hannah, Elizabeth, and so many others. Join me now in prayer. Heavenly Father, we praise and worship only you 
you are good to those who wait. Though you may not answer in our timing or in the way we expect, you will accomplish your good purposes in our lives when we wait patiently on you. Teach us to set our hearts on things above, not on things of this earth, and to keep kingdom business our priority. During long or even short seasons of waiting, may our hearts be encouraged to remember that the best is yet to come. One day sin and death will be no more. You are our rest and the treasure we seek. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, friends, thanks for joining us today. And until next time, may you seek God in the waiting.